Good morning, everyone. It is Wednesday, June 7th, and here's what I'm having for breakfast, lunch, and snack today. Breakfast this morning is coffee, zero point coffee. I have coffee with one tablespoon of fat free half and half for zero smart points. I also have some peanut butter banana oatmeal for three smart points. It is a quarter cup of oatmeal for two smart points, two tablespoons of PB Fit for one smart point, a half cup of silk cashew milk for zero smart points, a third a cup of water two sweetener packets for zero smart points. I will heat this in the microwave at work for two minutes and then slice and add the banana for zero smart points. And I'm also going to add one teaspoon of raisins for zero, one teaspoon of cranberries for zero, and one teaspoon of chopped almonds for zero smart points. So the peanut butter banana oatmeal is three smart points. For lunch, I am having a Thai chicken wrap. So it is an Olay Extreme Wellness Wrap for one smart point. Three ounces of Foster Farms Fajita Marinated Chicken for one smart point. Some cilantro and some shredded carrots for zero smart points. The wrap is two smart points. I will dip this in PB Fit, two tablespoons of PB Fit for one smart point. I will make a peanut butter sauce out of it for the Thai wrap. So the Thai wrap and the sauce together is three smart points. I will also be having a spinach salad. It is zero smart points. So it is uh, a teaspoon of chopped almonds for zero smart points, a teaspoon of cranberries for zero smart points, some sliced strawberries, one ounce of feta cheese for zero smart points. It is the Trader Joe's fat-free feta cheese, zero smart points, and a whole lot of spinach for zero points. I will top that with this Walden Farms raspberry vinaigrette for zero smart points. So lunch altogether is three smart points. There's my K cup. And for snack, I'm going to have these nectarines so I will slice these at work I'm going to do baked nectarines like I do the baked apples so I will slice these at work and then microwave them for about two minutes then add this on top a teaspoon of raisins a teaspoon of cranberries and a teaspoon of almonds for zero smart points and then drizzle the Walden Farms pancake syrup over the top also for zero smart points so those will be baked nectarines and then I also have an orange for zero smart points. So everything so far today, I have three points for breakfast, three points for lunch, and zero points for snack. That is six points to eat until I get home for dinner tonight. Good morning, guys. I am just headed to work, and I wanted to let you know that I ended my day yesterday at exactly 32 smart points. I had two points worth of thin crisp rye crackers just before bed so that's four crackers I don't think that I was necessarily hungry but I was just snacky and I wanted a little something just before bed so I chose rye crackers which is fabulous for me because that is the time of day that I usually eat garbage and the points add up pretty quickly and then my day is just shot so I think that two points of rye crisp crackers was an awesome choice and I'm very happy about that so even though I didn't end my day at 30 smart points I will totally take 32 I think that's very moderate without being too harsh on myself I use two weeklies but I have 26 left um, and probably will have a lot of fit points by the end of the week but of course my goal is always to not use fit points <laughs> and I always do <laughs> Anyway, I'm off to a good start today. I also feel I'm not starving, but I am mildly hungry. So that to me is a good sign because it means that I did not intake a bunch of extra calories last night. When I do that, when I eat a lot at night, then I'm not hungry for a while in the morning. So the fact that I am hungry is a good sign. It means that uh, my body has digested everything. I ate properly yesterday, so yeah. It's all good so far. I am planning to do two walk breaks today um, and then I will also walk at lunch with my co-workers for about two and a quarter miles. 
After work, I'm going to be running four miles of intervals at 6.5 miles an hour to 7.9 miles an hour. Um, I noticed that I'm less and less inclined to do walk breaks these days, and I don't know if it's because I am not as focused on steps anymore because I always hit my goal of 13,000 as long as I get my workout in. Um, but I also, I just don't feel like walking away from my desk a lot of times. So I don't know if that's laziness or I just don't want to go deal with so many people at the park or I've got extra work these days. I'm not sure what it is, but I will try to keep doing my walk breaks. Um, other than that, it's just business as usual for me today. So I will check in with you guys in another little while. Bye. Hey guys, it is one o'clock. It is my lunch time and I am sitting in the car. I did not do my first walk break. I think I told you guys I'm feeling pretty lazy about those walk breaks. I just don't feel like getting out anymore. And you know what? I could care less about my steps. I know that I work out enough that the step count is not really a goal or a challenge for me anymore. So I am feeling lazy and I don't really care about getting out to walk so that's why no walk break um, I'm not doing the walking with my friend today because she doesn't feel good so rather than get my butt out the door and do walking on my own I decided to do something that I haven't done in a long time about a year and a half ago I used to go out to the car every day for lunch and take a nap so that's what I'm doing today. I'm going to sit here and take a nap for an hour or so. Um, I'm just tired. I, I know I need to go to bed earlier. And why is it so hard to get my butt to bed early? I don't know. As soon as I finish this video, I'm going to set three alarms. 10.30, 10.35, 10.40, 10.45. That's four alarms so I can get my butt to bed at a decent time tonight. I need to, I need to establish that habit. Um, I know I'll feel better and I know I'll probably eat less or drink less at night too. So I need to try and do that. Anyway, I wanted to show you guys something really cool that just made my day. I almost cried. One of my coworkers, actually the coworker who got me this job at Disney, Disney, who I am forever grateful to, he um, gifted me with something this morning that his wife made. I had given, back when we had that huge like Disney sale and I got all kinds of crazy clothes, I got a lot of bigger clothing um, because I was just, you know, I had a, a time limit and I had to just grab, grab, grab. So I got a lot of larger clothing that fits um, his kids. So I had given it to his kids and his wife made this for us as a thank you. Um, isn't that just adorable? 2006 is the year when we were married. So I just love this. I think it's so beautiful. It was so thoughtful of her, of them to make it and give to us. So I, I love it. I want to hang it on our bedroom door because, you know, we live with Eddie's mother right now. So I want to put this on our bedroom door for me and Eddie. I love it. It just like, it brought tears to my eyes. It was so sweet of them. So anyway, I also want to tell you guys, I think so in reviewing all the stuff that I brought for work today to eat, um, I have the cranberry raisin nut mixture twice and almost three times because I have cranberries and nuts in my salad. So um, I have been thinking recently too, I mean, if you track all of those items separately, a teaspoon of raisins, a teaspoon of cranberries, a teaspoon of almonds, they're all zero smart points and then you put them together in like a little bunch and um, you know, they just give you more oomph to whatever you're eating. And I'll tell you what, in the oatmeal was so delicious. I haven't, I haven't had them like that in oatmeal and it was really good. But I think, like I don't know if I'll always count a point for them, but if you had all of them together, um, it's about a point's worth of food. So I think it's fair to count a point and especially today because I'm having them almost three times in one day. So I actually added to my day, I added a point 
for the raisins, cranberries, and almonds for breakfast, and I added a point for the raisins, cranberries, and almonds for my snack. So the salad, I'm not touching. So that makes it eight points for my day so far. Um, but yeah, I just, I don't know if I need to necessarily watch um, some of the zero points foods I eat so much, but that one, like if I was to eat maybe two fat-free cheese slices in a day, maybe I should track them. But the thing is, in the tracker, if you track them at separate times, because you're eating them at separate times, then they would track at zero. But if you tracked two slices at one time, it would track one. So, I mean, there's just weird little things like that with a tracker where you can get around some things. Um, and it's the same with the raisins, cranberries, and almonds. I mean, you're eating a bunch of little things, very, very small amounts, but if you combine them all together, it seems fair that it might be a point. <laughs> So I don't know that I need to necessarily watch it all the time, but for today I was like, well, that's kind of a lot. So um, definitely tracking an additional two points today. And for the cranberries, almonds, and raisins, I may start tracking a point for that combo. I don't know. Um, it just, it depends on where I'm at for the day, I guess, and how much uh, tracking trickery I need to do. So. But anyway, I'm going to take a nap <laughs> and then I will try to get up and be more productive and go get some more work done, but um, I'll touch base with you guys in another little while. Bye! By the way, I love naps. I wish I was a five-year-old because I love naps. Okay, 55 minutes later, I feel great. Here is my outfit of the day. I'm feeling a little groggy, but I think I will wake up momentarily because now it's time for lunch. Hey guys, so I did actually get my butt outside for my second walk break. Yay, I'm at the park. Um, it's actually nice and refreshing out here. It's 77 degrees, so I'm a little bit warm in my jacket, but it's super nice out here. Um, there's a few parties going on, some people hanging out. It's nice, I guess I'm, I'm glad I got out. <laughs> and I do still feel refreshed after my lunchtime nap, so I'm glad I did that as well. I think I've decided that I need to cut back on the raw spinach. I don't know, for those of you who are watching me way back earlier this spring, I believe it was around February, I was having severe gastric problems. Um, it got to be really, really painful and really disruptive. Um, and I think I kind of narrowed it down at that point. Number one, I totally cut out all beans and I still don't eat beans. Um, number two, I think I narrowed it down pretty much to raw vegetables. So at the time I had a huge tub of lettuce, spring mix lettuce that I was eating and it hurt so bad every time. So I have been hesitant to add too many salads back into my meals, um, but we just got this huge bag of spinach and it's been really delicious. But the last, last night I had spinach salad for dinner. Today I had spinach salad for lunch and I just, I just don't think my body's breaking it down properly. So although I am taking medication with it, as I eat it, I didn't last night, but I did at lunch today. I'm taking a combination of Bino and Gas X. <laughs> Welcome to old lady life. Um, I'm taking both of those and still just major problems. So I think I need to cut back on the raw spinach and we'll hopefully try to eat through that big bag of spinach by cooking it up because I love cooked spinach too. So anyway, those are my afternoon thoughts. So pleasant. <laughs> old lady life at 44. I am a grandma, so maybe I deserve it, but gotta keep those bowels working right. Anyway, I need to jump up and get back to work. I just did a super long video, or I did it like five times, trying to explain a new intervals workout that I'm doing. So if you guys are interested in that, hop on over to my run with me video for today. I'm actually kind of excited to run this afternoon, which I'm never excited because I am trying a new workout and I think it's just going to fly by. I think it's going to go really fast and it's also hopefully going to enable me to run in intervals at 8.5 miles an hour. So that's a really 
I might be biting off more than I can chew, but I am just very interested to see if I can do it. And yeah, kind of excited to see how this workout goes. So anyway, headed back to work. I will touch base with you guys this evening after my workout. Hey guys, it is 7.30 and I am headed home. I just did my workout. I did a different workout today, so I'm not fully convinced that it was a good one. <laughs> I feel like I could have expended a lot more energy and I'm used to doing speed runs that leave me super exhausted. So I don't know how efficient that run actually was, but I wanted to try something new to really try and increase my efficiency. So we'll see. I don't I don't know. I'm not sure what to think about it. Anyway, I did do my four miles. I did 10 minutes on the rower and I did five minutes on the elliptical. I am headed home for dinner. My hair is pretty wacky back there. I'm headed home for dinner. We are having beef. It's what's for dinner. <laughs> beef, potatoes, and spinach. Cooked spinach. So. That's all I know at this point. I will show you guys what it looks like and what the points are when I get home. Hey guys, it's 8.37 and here's what's for dinner tonight. So tonight I have five and a quarter ounces of lean beef with all of the fat trimmed. This was actually a roast that Eddie cooked in the crock pot. So I have five and a quarter ounces for five smart points. On top of the beef, I have two tablespoons of this Bolt House Farms caramelized sweet onion yogurt dressing. Two tablespoons is one smart point. Over here I have a mixture of spinach, carrots, onion, mushrooms, and potatoes. All of that is zero smart points except for the potatoes and I have about a third a cup of potatoes for I believe two smart points or maybe one. Let me see five, six, one smart point. So a third a cup potatoes is one smart point. So everything on my plate is five, six, seven smart points. And then I have one eight ounce glass of sangria so far. One eight ounce glass is five smart points. So that puts me at exactly 20 points so far, I believe for today. Let me add it up really quick. Eight, 13, 14, yep, 20 points so far.